I'm the coach George DeMeo from 960 WELI and ESPN Radio 1300, and you're watching What's Up CT. a show today on uh, What's Up CT. I got the coach in the house. What's up, coach? Hello. How, how are we you, doing, Mr. Baby? Dukes, my man? Oh. And I got Tony Capiano, uh, Tony C, yeah, as y'all you know. Buddy. All right, we got a great show coming up. This is Charles Dukes Jr. from What's Up CT. We'll be right back right after this. No. Oops. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Let's go. Moms everywhere are finding ways to keep kids active and healthy. <sighs> Works every time. Get ideas, get involved, get going at letsmove.gov. My life is full of statistics. Thing is, I could have dropped out of school and become one myself, but I didn't because I had people that believed in me. Here's another statistic. 7,000 students drop out every school day. That's one every 26 seconds. It's time that students know that we believe in them. Inspire a student and share your message of support at boostup.org. Coach, how are you? Well, well welcome back, and uh, well, how's everything going, the coach? Everything is just great. This is certainly an experience I will never forget. Awesome, awesome. Uh, and, and I feel the, the love. And, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you <laughs> can feel it, I'm sure. <laughs> yes. Uh, having a good time. Doing fine. Having, having doing a good fun. time? Doing fine. Yes, awesome. having a great time. Awesome, awesome. Uh, Tony C., how's everything, Tony C.? Good, Charles. Thanks for having me back again. It's, uh, a, it's a pleasure. Um, uh, I feel like this guy's an old uh, favorite of mine. I've been on his show twice. and uh, I'm glad you made it. I made it. I'm I, glad I, you made I, it. I'm a little lost today, but uh, the, the coach got me back. That's, <laughs> why, that's why I brought it up. Awesome. <laughs> that's why he's nicknamed the coach. That's he coached me back. <laughs> All right. Yeah. The coach is in the house. So, uh, now, wh where'd you get that name, uh, the coach? Now, how did they get to call you the coach? Can you tell us about Oh, that? absolutely. There's a story with it. Uh, when I went to uh, interview for the radio job, and it started at KC 101. All right. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. back, uh, back a few years ago, mm -hmm. uh, they had a contest, and what you did is they wanted everyone who wanted to be a sportscaster on KC 101 to send in a tape. Okay, right. So I sent in my cassette tape, I hate to date myself, oh. a cassette <laughs> tape, and uh, yeah. No, it's not bad, if you said 8-track, then we Oh, no, you're right about that, okay. it was cassette. Oh, we all remember cassette. the 8-track. Yes, okay. we do. We all all right. uh, we, I sent it in, yes, and yeah. when I went in, uh, I was picked as one of uh, five finalists. Oh my goodness. That were, wow. was gonna come in that week, and right. your final interview was doing a sports report on the radio live on KC 101. Oh, wow. I happened to be the third one of that week. So I came in on a Wednesday. All right. Yeah. Uh, the day that I came in, 
and it was in uh, March, it was in April of that year, and I had a jacket on when I came in. Oh, okay. And the jacket, I had coached uh, Biddy basketball, little wow. kids. Yes, we yes. had won the championship. All right. So I had gotten some jackets for our team, and on my jacket it said, Coach George. Uh -huh. So when they saw the jacket, they said, gee, if you get the job, we'll call you the coach. And I All said, right. okay. Well, I did my interview. Uh, I did my live sports report on KC 101 that morning. Wow, awesome. Um, and what happened was I was, uh, they said, well, go into the next room and prepare for the sports report because you're going to be going on at a certain time. Uh -huh. I said, uh, well, I don't have to. I said, what do you mean? I said, well, it's up here. Uh -huh. I mean, you're, gonna, you're not going to write hey. anything down? I said, no. I know what, I know what happened in sports last night. Wow, so that's awesome. What awesome. happened was I did the report. I went home, and that very night, I got a call from the program director of KC101. He right. said, George, he said, you got the job. We don't care what the next two people do on Thursday and Friday. <laughs> he said, <laughs> that, you start right. to follow. And I started the uh, Monday after Thanksgiving. I said April. I actually met uh, November when I went in for the interview, but it was Monday after Thanksgiving wow. I started nice. back in 19... Yes, 80, 83. <laughs> okay. 83. 1983. Started part, started part time. Now, now, have you been doing just this radio station as the coach since then? Or? I've been doing, I've been on KC 101, mm -hmm. and they had a sister station, AM station, uh, AM 1300, WAVZ 1300, okay. Okay. and they were sister stations, so I did... I started doing sports. I first started only doing sports on KC 101, mm -hmm. and the morning man on AVZ said, well, why can't I have the coach do sports on AVZ? So I started right. going back nice. and forth. Gotcha, gotcha. And then in 1993-94, mm -hmm. they merged with Clear Channel and WELI 960, wow. uh, where I am now, mm -hmm. and all three stations are there now. All so, together. All right. But I've basically been doing it for those stations since I've been so coaching. Actually, coaching. How long have you actually been covering high school sports? Because a lot of people out there probably don't know um, that you cover all the high school I sports. Call all high, I all started high covering school. high school sports. Oh, boy. I started doing it in 85. I've been doing it, I mean, just going to games. Mm -hmm. right. I used to go to games and then report on the highlights the next morning on KC 101. And uh, would go to the basketball games, the hockey games, the baseball games. Started girls softball covering that. And of course, football in the fall, and report on that uh, the next morning on KC 101 and WAVZ. Right. And then eventually mm -hmm. uh, started doing play-by-play uh, -play play of the games, and I started that on around 92. So I've been doing it for over 20 years, just doing play-by-play. Play. And you do a great job. Oh, right? thank you. I, yeah. I, have, I have a lot and of fun. I, I appreciate it. I've been listening to you for a long time. Right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Even though I'm not that old. You are, you're young. <laughs> <laughs> and the most handsomest guy on television. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's why I have a face uh, made for uh, radio. Oh, should I say radio? After, yeah, sitting, yeah. Be, <laughs> after sitting between you two guys, I don't know. It may be a what's, career what, yet. What's the difference, George, between sports of yesteryear and sports of today? What do you see is the big difference that you in see. terms of uh, youth and, and well I, I think this uh, I've been covering high school for a long time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think nowadays uh, and I'm not for this I think kids get specialized now mm -hmm. you know they want to play one thing the whole year and I don't know if I like that because I've seen some kids get burned out right, right. you know uh, when I went to school in high school and everything I played three sports uh, and my sons played more than one, even in terms of the when they went to school in the in the mid to late 80s and graduated from high school. Uh, but now I see kids uh, just concentrating on one sport. I'm not point. sure that's right. good. I've seen kids get burned out from doing that, and I'm right. not I'm not for that. Right. I like them to play a couple right. different things, you know. Right. 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 But uh, you know, and, and and that I think, and and also I think today's today's youth doesn't have the commitment that we had years and they have so much more to, to go with right. you know uh it's like oh you want me to go and practice today right i just can't play the game right. Right. no right. i gotta i gotta practice you gotta, you gotta practice, practice yeah. first right. Right. Then we practice uh, dedication right. is yeah there, dedication right. and commitment right. i think right. is and it's very tough being a coach nowadays i right. coached uh middle school i did uh, high school for 10 years uh, with my son at North Haven, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it's it, it's even changed since then. You know? Now, now uh, Tony uh, uh, Anthony Tony C. Yeah, uh, uh, Tony C. Uh, Tony is uh, 
and he told me you're doing some other volunteer work too, uh, uh, with some schools or something. Right, he do. does all the high school games in yeah, the area. He, he goes games. actually goes to the games. I actually go yeah, to the game. Yeah. Right, and right. And but I do play by play. Oh, you do play by play. I do play. I do play by play. Tell what's up, CT. What that means. Well, I mean, in other words, I do the broadcast. We'll go to. I'll cover a game every Friday night on 960 WELI, and I'll go with the, an engineer, my uh, color man, mm -hmm. and I do play-by-play. -play. Right. You know, do I am uh, like Marv Albert, yeah, does, you right. know, and uh, <laughs> guys like that. And then in the winter, I'll do play-by-play -play of boys and girls basketball. Wow. I do high school hockey. Nice. And nice. then in the spring, uh, doing now girls high school softball, which yeah. I've been covering for many years. So all in all, for the four sports, I'll do play-by-play -play for over 100 games. So how do people on What's Up CT get to, to, to hear you? I guess they can't see you on radio, but no. how can they hear you? Well, they can hear me uh, on 960 WLI, 960 AM. Mm -hmm. uh, they can hear me on AM 1300, because okay. I do uh, some sports on 1300, some are on ELI. Okay. Uh, they can also now, with uh, the internet, right, right. Uh, just go to the, the websites, 960WLI.com, and uh, ESPN Radio 1300.com. Mm -hmm. So we're all over the internet. Wow, and great. also now with the iHeartRadio, which is Radio. huge. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So you can get those stations on iHeartRadio. Nice, so there's nice. uh, plenty of ways to get me other than just the radio. I know a lot of sports people, a lot of the coaches, uh, being old school, they like the radio. Right, you know, you're in the right, car, right. you want the radio. Right, well, right. that's where you can get me there. But you can get me on internet and iHeartRadio. Well. So there's plenty of ways to get me. That's awesome. Coach, awesome. give us some of the big names that you've had on your, oh. on your radio. Give us, give us, uh, give us somebody yeah. that's... Uh, I, I think, you know, being involved in uh, Walter Camp the last 20-some-odd uh, years, name, I've yep. gotten to meet some of the uh, great NFL players. Dan Marino mm -hmm. uh, uh, had him on. Uh, one of the guys I got to be real good friends with when he played in the NFL was Keith Byers okay. out of Ohio State. Wow. Went awesome. to uh, the Patriots, Patriots played yeah, them for right. the Eagles. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, got to meet, uh, and of course in, in baseball, uh, Connecticut's own, uh, uh, Rico yeah. Bronia I, from Watertown. Well, you know Rico, uh, yeah, Rico yeah. and I are still very good friends. Yeah, right. uh, I keep in touch with him. He's That's been on great. my show several times. Awesome, awesome. Uh, woof, 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 woof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, it, it, it is great to meet some of the great professionals. You know, uh, my idol growing up, and again, I'll date myself, but being a Yankee fan, yeah, one right. of the guys that I that was my idol growing up was Mickey Mantle. I mean, yeah, he's, yeah, you know, yeah, being yeah. as you read in my book, right? I did, <laughs> and right. I had the chance to to meet Mickey uh, at a, a show in New Haven many years ago, awesome. and uh, I think I was in awe of him then as I was as a kid and got to meet Whitey Ford and, oh, you know, oh, wow. Mel Allen. And now, you all told me you're like a Yankee Clinton. fan, but rumor has it that you're a Washington National I fan. Am, I am. How, I, did, I, how did that happen? Well, I'll tell you what. I, I've been a Yankee fan since I was four years old. My father wouldn't allow me to root for anybody else. Uh, he, he's told me, he said, this is all you have to care about are the Yankees, and that's it. Uh, but I always felt sorry for the Washington Senators when they Ooh, were back in with Frank Howard. Oh, Frank Howard! Oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, quick story. I went to I went to see Frank Howard play in Washington yeah, yeah, yeah. with the Senators, and I uh, couldn't wait to see him play. Huge man! Wow. I wow. sat right behind the <laughs> Senators dugout because there was nobody there basically, and. Uh, he went 0 for 5. Okay. So I was just thrilled about that. Wow, wow. Know, couldn't get the ball out of the infield. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I always liked them, always felt bad for them. And when they moved back to Washington, when they left, I really felt bad. When they moved back in 05, mm -hmm. 04, 05, I started following them faithfully. Wow. Uh, watch them on uh, MLB TV, which I get just to watch them. Mm -hmm. uh, follow all their games, follow all their moves. And to this day, uh, I, I I love the Washington. Have you wow. been down to the uh, state? I have now? not. I plan on going this great, summer. Right, right, right. My son actually went before I did. He's right. not a Nationals fan, no, okay. but uh, I plan on going. But I, awesome. but still, you know, you, know, you always, always, your heart. Always with the Yankees. I'm still a right. Yankee fan. Yeah, no, I, I, I love yeah, the Yankees. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. You know, uh, all the interviews that you have done, <laughs> what was one of the most uh, uh, great interviews that you can recall? Other than this one. Other yeah. than this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, will, this, will rank, this will rank up all of them, that's for sure. Uh, if they only knew the folks the behind the scenes, you know, the setting up of all this, they, they wouldn't believe what goes on. Um, you know, it's funny. I I've never uh, I had the chance to interview uh, 
uh, Wayne Gretzky okay, many years ago, player. great yeah. hockey player. Yeah. Uh, I had the chance to uh, uh, get some of the Heisman winners on wow. uh, on my show. I, I tell you, who I really enjoyed uh, John Elway. John Elway was on. I did an interview with John Elway. Had a chance to talk to him. Very. Nice. I like when the guys act uh, down to earth, down to earth and right. talk to you. Right. you. know what exactly. I mean? Exactly, exactly. Um, That's a great point. You know, exactly. I, I, I had the chance to talk to Troy Aikman, mm -hmm. uh, who, uh, when he was involved with Walter Camp, uh, came down as a member, uh, you know, as a, co a collegian. Right. And, of course, they had the basketball game way back when, when the college stars played against each yeah. other right. at the right. Coliseum. I used to coach one of the teams. Nice. Yeah. And I can remember uh, Troy saying to me that night, saying, listen, Coach, I, I don't want to play in the game because they didn't want to get hurt, you know. And, right. You know, okay. I said, Troy, whatever you want to do, you know. It's, you don't want to get hurt? No, you don't. <laughs> you don't sit on the bench. <laughs> By the end of the first half, he saw the action. Everybody having some. He goes, Coach, put me in. I, 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 I want to go in. He changed his mind. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I had a chance to uh, to interview uh, a few years ago uh, the running back. Uh, help me, uh, Reggie, uh, Reggie, Reggie Bush. Reggie Bush. Okay. Uh, talk about ones you, you can forget. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I did him on location. Well, they threw it to me, joining me now, Reggie Bush. And Reggie Bush basically sat there, crouched down in his chair, and uh, didn't speak. Is that right? Yeah, yeah I wouldn't like, speak. Wow. I, I, I'm wow. looking over at the, the can, you know. <laughs> what do I say? What, what do, do I do? Yeah, how do I get him uh, going? I'm just, yeah, I, I mean, did I... Uh, you want to start this again, or you want? <laughs> you know, yeah, was, uh, and, I, and I never. Fi and, and finally, we had to take a, a break, a break, and they came over and talked to me and said, "Reggie, you, this is you're in radio. You got, you can't just sit here." And I don't know what the problem was, but uh, he finally did talk a little bit. It wasn't the greatest interview I ever did. And I got to tell you something: you learn real quick in my radio career, right, right. Uh, how, how not to do an interview and how to do an interview. Uh -huh. And I learned that at Fenway Park in Boston. I uh, went up to Fenway Park with my family and I got credentials to go on the field before the game to interview some players, bring it back to the radio station. Right. And the Red Sox, unfortunately, this was near the beginning of the season that year, and they were coming off a road trip in which they had lost like 10 in a row. Oh boy. So yeah. nobody's in a real good mood, which wasn't good <laughs> for me. What year was this? Uh, <laughs> oh, it was early in my career, in the 80s. 80? Yeah. So Jim, really Rice like <laughs> Jim Rice was not available to the press, <laughs> oh, okay. so I couldn't even talk to him. Uh, Dwight Evans? Uh, Dwight Evans. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got a chance to talk to uh, Wade Box, and I got started the interview, and I said, okay, let's start the tape. And I said, you know, I'm joined now by third baseman Wade Boggs. I said, Wade, you know, Red Sox off to the rocky start. You know, 10-game <laughs> ten, ten losing strip, you know. Uh, things. Went, and he looked at me and he's going, well, I, I didn't have a bad road trip. He goes, uh, we got off to a bad, but, you know, I, 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 yeah, I don't wow. think it was, wow. I don't think it was so bad. I'm, uh, I'm doing okay and things, you know, and I'm going. And, and the whole interview from that time on. It was about. Down, 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 down hill. Wow. And I ended it real fast because he wasn't very... <laughs> so he wasn't about the Red Sox, he was about Wade Boggs. I'm afraid it was. Yeah. So I learned, and you know, you learn things new in the business as you go along. Right. I, I got a chance uh, a while later to meet uh, Don Shula at Walter Camp. Okay. Uh, it was funny because I met him on an elevator, and I, was, I said, gee, I got my stuff, can you do uh, an interview? And, and here's how it started. I said, Coach Shula. I put my hand out like this. I said, it is indeed a pleasure and honor. You are one of the greatest coaches. Absolutely. I've been a big fan, wow. uh, you know, of you for a while. And the whole interview was great. Oh, he said, nice to meet you. Well, where do you want to do the interview? I said, we can do it right uh, right off the elevator. And, and he gave me the yeah, best cool. interview. And, and you learn to start things on a positive note, right. and it'll you'll get positive. it'll stay positive. Okay. If you say something negative, <laughs> oh, you learn quick because I've learned. And and now you know I basically Great story. yeah it's Great story. true. All right, all right, Coach George. We're just going to take a moment, and uh, we'll be right back right after this with Coach George and Tony C. We'll be right back. The average text takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds.
I'm the coach.